About a century ago, on April 2nd, 1921, the SS Rotterdam pulled into the battery in Lower Manhattan to thousands of cheering fans. To read about it now, the reporting makes the event sound like the hysteria that welcomed the Beatles' first visit. And this was indeed a first visit to the States, just for a different kind of European star. This was the first trip to America for Albert Einstein. And his first academic lecture wasn't with a science symposium or at the White House, it was at City College. It cannot be overstated how much of a celebrity Einstein was at the time. In 1919, Einstein's theory of general relativity was confirmed by the scientific community, and our understanding of the universe changed. And it was reported on as such that for 200 years, Isaac Newton's laws of gravity explained so much of our world, and in a flash, Einstein changed the game. This vaulted Einstein into the international spotlight to celebrity status. The New York Times wrote of the frenzy as his ship pulled in. He looked like an artist, a musician. He was. But underneath his shaggy locks was a scientific mind whose deductions have staggered the ablest intellects of Europe. Einstein's first visit to America, though, was not planned just for discussing his work. He had actually come with the future first president of Israel, Chaim Weizmann, in the hopes to raise funds for a Hebrew university in Jerusalem. Feeling that growing anti-Semitism in Europe after World War I was making it hard for young Jews to further their education. But on April 7th, Einstein made his first appearance in American academia, lecturing at City College, the first of five appearances that month, discussing his theory of general relativity. Just how revolutionary was this theory at the time? Well, even his travel partner, Chaim Weizmann, actually a renowned scientist in his own right, joked that, Einstein explained his theory to me every day, and by the time we arrived, I was fully convinced that he really understands it. But however difficult the concepts, the campus certainly got into the fervor nonetheless, with articles in the school newspaper, including a satirical play script titled Relativity, and a giant assembly with 3,500 students and faculty. Einstein's trip would go on to see him visit places like Columbia University, Princeton, and Harvard, and receive honors like a National Guard marching band parade in Cleveland, and a meeting with President Warren G. Harding in Washington. The U.S. Senate even took up a debate on the theory of relativity. But for all the places along the way, City College was a first stop. But the visit would not be Einstein's last, of course. To leave these victims to their misery would be a heavy blow to all those who believe in human solidarity. With the rise of Hitler in his native Germany, he would emigrate to America permanently in 1933. 12 years after he first left City College, to a standing ovation, saying, It gives me the greatest pleasure on this, my first visit to America, to have this opportunity of meeting the student body of this great university. I appreciate very much your friendly reception and applause, and extend to you all my heartiest good wishes. For the record, I'm Ari Goldberg.